Hello and welcome to the presentation video of the Knowledge Tools project by Tracelabs, which was recorded for the purposes of the on-to-chain D4 deliverable. Today we'll be showing an example application built with the four knowledge tools, utilizing knowledge tokens, knowledge marketplace, knowledge tenders and knowledge wallet. These tools are intended as components for developers to build their own Web3 knowledge market applications. To understand the interaction between the tools, we'll start with the knowledge marketplace scenario that allows the exchange of knowledge assets between the knowledge seller and the knowledge buyer. As a knowledge asset seller, the user first provisions a knowledge asset on the DKG. In this example application, the seller creates an asset by filling in the form with the data which will be used in the knowledge marketplace with the purchase endpoint indicating the web address of the seller's knowledge wallet service. The public data section refers to a JSON-LD object, which is discoverable on the origin trail DKG, while the private section is the actual asset content that is being sold. After successfully provisioning the knowledge asset on the DKG, the seller will be able to see it listed under your assets page. The seller can now mint knowledge tokens for this knowledge asset, which later a buyer will have to acquire in order to buy the particular asset from the marketplace. Knowledge tokens, or K tokens, come in two different shapes fungible ERC20 K tokens and ERC1155 NFT K tokens. In this video, we'll showcase an example of using ERC20 K tokens. The seller can set token name and initial supply for ERC20 K tokens he is minting. The mint token operation requires several blockchain transactions to occur. Invoking the factory contract to create a new knowledge token contract, then performing minting, provisioning a token pair on the decentralized exchange, etc. To expose previously minted knowledge tokens to the market, they should be listed on some marketplace. This can be achieved by adding them as liquidity to the knowledge token DEX pair. We'll show this particular example in the video. This will also determine an actual price of the knowledge asset. After adding liquidity to the K token, the seller can now add the knowledge asset to the marketplace. Now in this example application, on the buyer side, we can see published knowledge assets on the marketplace and also check their details. In order to buy the knowledge asset, the buyer first needs to purchase the knowledge token associated with the asset by clicking the purchase token button. After the purchase of knowledge tokens is finalized, the buyer can proceed with obtaining the associated knowledge asset from the marketplace via the fair swap protocol. After the purchase is completed, the buyer will be able to see the knowledge asset under your assets page. Now we will showcase how knowledge tenders work. In this example interface, the tender creation form is separated into two columns. The first part of the form is for entering general information about the tender. The second part of the form is where the tender creator is defining data requirements that tender applicants will have to provide in order to apply for the tender. Upon successfully completing the process of tender creation, the user can see all of their created tenders under the My Tenders section. In order to apply for or check the requirements of a single tender, applicant will browse the Search Tenders page and open Desired Tender in order to check tender details. When applying for the tender, the applicant needs to provision the DKG asset that will associate as an application to the tender. The applicant will be presented with the form as seen on the screen. As in the previous case, the private asset data will only be available to the tender creator after purchase. After applying for the tender, on My Applications page, the applicant can mint knowledge tokens and then add K-token liquidity to the DEX to make it available for purchase by the tender creator. The tender creator can see the tender applications by opening single tender details page and also see details and price of every application by opening application details. In order to purchase the desired application, the tender creator or a buyer should first purchase the knowledge token that is requested by the applicant. After purchasing the knowledge token, the tender creator can proceed with purchasing the asset associated with the tender application via fair swap protocol. After the purchase is finalized, the original tender application private data will be downloaded. And that concludes the demo.